Hey, what's up, guys? It's Girl Hands or Brimley's Beatus or Bernie or whatever the hell you want to call me. Um, this is the final post-game commentary. Again, I'm sorry about the audio glitch that I had, um, but in the future, this is never going to happen again. So this is it, the final uh, post-commentary that I'm going to do for this series. Um, and after that, everything else is going to be a live commentary. For this final uh, commentary, what I want to talk about, it's actually going to arise during this gameplay. You'll see in a little bit. Um, but it, it, it's not just limited to Call of Duty. It's, it's, it's just basically the internet in general. And it's the, it's the trolling, it's the animosity... It's almost like a hatred that people have of one another <laughs> over the internet. I've noticed it a lot more recently, and I think about the last year, year and a half on YouTube, um, people will just get generally upset, or they'll just simply troll to troll, but they say such negative things to one another. A lot of times, it does, like even grammatically, it, it just looks, the person making those comments just looks like a complete moron. I'm not a grammar Nazi, but if you're going to try to put somebody down, at least take a half a second to look and see what you typed. <laughs> so you don't look like a complete idiot. Uh, but this right here, this is what spurred on <laughs> this topic for today. This is a, a real class act from this guy. He, um, he, uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie, the game before we got our asses kicked, but uh, why he felt the need to put that little Jerry on top is, is beyond me. But uh, those kind of comments, um, I see it in Call of Duty, I see it on forums, I see it a lot of times on YouTube. Um, people just attacking one another, saying very ignorant things. A lot of times... I feel like people are genuinely upset. Like, you'll, you'll see people... Um, like, I'm sure there's people out there that wouldn't like how I'm playing this game. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty camp-happy. I think kind of the standard, at least when it comes to Call of Duty and YouTube videos, is you have to be rushing 100% of the time. And for me, I, I generally like that playstyle. I don't like being stationary for too long. But I think... I don't know why I'm playing like this. I don't know if I'm trying to go for a contract. Or... I, I think it's the map. I think it's just such a pain in the ass running around trying to find people. Six versus six on this map is huge. And it's a lot easier to kill people if you just stay in one spot. So that's probably why I'm playing the way I am. Uh, the map is just too large for me to run around and try to find people. Uh, but for the most part, I, I do like running around. But if I see people camping the entire time um, in their videos, as long as there's some purpose, like if you're, if you're projecting, uh, protecting the objective then I don't really care. I'm not going to get upset about it. Maybe when I'm playing the game, somebody kills me. Yeah, it sucks that they're you know camping in a corner or something like that. But at the end of the day, it's a game. It's not that big a deal. But people will just just hate commentators if they're camping or if they're head glitching or if they're doing some type of style of play um, that, that they don't agree with. It's just it's amazing to me how upset people get. Or people will criticize videos or they'll, they'll put these comments on videos and they don't even know like the story behind it or that they don't even take the bother. Sometimes they'll, they'll talk about something they don't like about it. And the answer is in the description, like reasons why they did this, this, and this, and, and people don't take the time to do that. They just genuinely don't care. And they're just going to put whatever negative comment they have. And one of the things that gets me, this isn't just limited to YouTube or, or the, or, um, or call of duty or video games or anything like that. But whenever people have a disagreement over opinion, and that always gets me. It's someone's opinion. I, I don't know why it riles people up so much. I, I can understand in certain ca categories, like say maybe uh, finances, politics, uh, religion, people having differences in opinions over that. But when things are in broader spectrum, um, I see a lot of people's opinions about other things, like even music and video games and movies and stuff like that. People are generally upset sometimes if they have a different opinion than you. But... I mean, who cares? It's not something factual. If they, they might, I mean, they grow up a completely different life from you. They have different experiences, different perspectives, and they might like a movie that you don't. I don't understand why people get upset and say you're an idiot and they discredit your intelligence. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I've definitely seen arguments over what I think is the pettiest and dumbest things, and it's just um, it, it's exacerbated by the internet, especially. I don't know what drives people. Uh, to get angry over opinions or to get angry over videos and to not just not just legitimately get upset but also really just spew these vile negative things towards that person like it like sometimes they're not even trying to troll they're just saying negative things because that's what they truly feel uh, i don't know what drives people to do that and i also don't know what drives people to just simply troll in general i'm not a big fan of just constant trolling i'm i'd be lying if i didn't say i've seen videos in the fat in the past where people troll and i thought it was pretty funny um, but when that's like your mo that's all you do is troll i i don't 
I don't find that generally entertaining, and I don't know what makes people want to do that. I wish I knew, I knew somebody who was a psychologist or I had some background in psychology, because uh, I'd like to know what drives people uh, to want to act that way, to want to put people down. I think uh, growing up as a kid, typically you'd hear like on the TV, bullies are mean to other people because they have their own internal problems, their own deficiencies, and they have to lash out at other people in order to help prop themselves up. I don't. I'm sure that's true to some point, but I'm sure there's other people that don't really have a, a, any problems. They still enjoy putting other people down. I don't know, maybe if that's related to some type of like um, trying to be an alpha male, maybe. Uh, I have no <laughs> psychological back or psychology background, FYI, so um, I could be completely off base here. But I, maybe instead of exerting some type of dominance physically, I mean, you're just doing it verbally. You're just cutting people down and, 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 and trying to instill that type of superiority. So yeah, I, I don't know what makes people want to do that. It really sucks, um, especially especially when you look on YouTube. When people are generally there's a lot of people out there that 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 uh, enjoy doing what they do. They like putting up content, and people just got on there and just tear them down. Um, and a lot of times there's not a really there's no real rhyme or reason to it, and why people feel the need um, to put others down is just beyond me. Um, and, and people trying to throw out their own opinions as if they're completely right, and, and nobody. Nobody else could disagree with it. It really sucks. The other thing I don't like about YouTube in general, I don't really have a problem on the Form Boys channel because our channel is so small. I don't really have to worry about it, but it does happen from time to time. People will dislike a video, and then they'll leave no comment at all. There's no restriction. They can just dislike. I'm sorry about my dog in the background. Um, but people will leave a dislike in the background, or the, <laughs> they'll put a dislike, and they won't comment about why they dislike it because there's people out there that generally want to put up good content they want to try to make it uh, so everybody can enjoy it which is impossible but I mean if there's things that they can correct I I'm sure there's people out there that would like to know uh, but there's no requirement you can dislike it and just run away I, I wish they would change that I wish if you had to dislike it you had to leave a comment and, and explain why I'm sure people would find ways around it uh, but it'd be like it'd be nice to see what's going on in the minds of a lot of people why they feel the need to just down a video instantly and then just go their way i'm sure i mean it's really bad on the internet obviously because of the anonymity of it the fact that there's no negative repercussions to a lot of comments that you say you can spew whatever vile negative things you want and <laughs> feel right here with this rc car uh, but you can say whatever the hell you want and really there's nothing bad that's ever going to happen to you about it i mean the, some people might think bad of you on the internet but a lot of people just don't care at all it's the internet um, so yeah, it's 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 funny because I, I I guarantee you like 90 95 percent of the people that say the things that they that they do um, would would not say those things if you met them in person. Now there are exceptions to the rule. I've definitely I know a couple people in my life. The things they say online, the things they say in person, they'll they'll say it at any point in time. They're they're not going to change their opinion. But a lot of people, I feel, if you confronted them, they they would uh, would change their tune. Uh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't be as confident. They wouldn't say the things that they said. Um, but one thing, I, there's a funny story. Um, I guess you're not 100% safe on the internet because I heard a story. I think it was in England. Uh, there's an older gentleman who was. I, actually, I wouldn't call him a gentleman. This guy's kind of a jackass. Uh, but but there's this kid on Xbox Live just making fun of him, just just ripping him apart. And I think they're playing Call of Duty or Halo or something like that. And, and it really got to this guy. And he did something with networking or something with computers, but he ended up figuring out this guy, this this kid's IP. And from that, he extrapolated, you know, where the kid lived. He found him, and I think he punched the kid in the face. Uh, so, yeah, kind of a jackass, but I guess you're not 100% protected on the Internet. There are people out there <laughs> that will try to find you. I think the guy got some assault charges on him. But, yeah, that guy took it to the next level. I think, uh, I think he needs to learn to shake stuff off. I mean, it doesn't... When I see negative comments, it doesn't completely bother me that people do it. I just... I don't understand why people get so vile sometimes. But uh, this is it. This is the final post-game commentary. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I hope that you guys are still enjoying the series. And like always, take it easy.